Good day, Lords and Ladies, and welcome back to Hard West. I have returned this to just prior to this before the end of the last episode where I died, and let's get straight into it. You've turned to your bullet tree in the graveyard. You were still, you were still stable. I was ready to perform the surgery. The singular property of ether is that it allows useful pieces of the deceased to be reused in living humans. Do you remember that poor devil, Somerset, whom you freed during the escape? His cancerous growth seemed to give him unique powers. Naturally, I extracted it and saved it for your rebirth. Your former slave masters were content to exploit you for manual quarry work. What a pathetic band of ignorance. I could see that your leader sit with the and gave you the potential to become a superior human being. But compared to the average human, your physique, physical strength was adequate at best. What about the compared to the average tiger? Salad, uh, salad arms off of them. Failing heart, the place of a bull's kidney, place of bull's kidneys. Why stop at two? I worked all day. It came together in a truly divine way. You were already an incredible specimen. Your surgeries made you something even more. Even more what? Your surgeries made me a monster. You only wanted me for your sick fantasy, and after you had your fun, you sent those thugs to kill me. Right. So she's got. Give her that. A sight, I just don't. Uh, I'm gonna give that one. What's her luck like? He can have that one. Oh wait, I forgot it's the whole... Okay, yes, so he's got that. Actually, that's probably a good idea to give him that one. Compat compatible tissue. Movement and maximum luck, yeah. She's got this one. Yeah, that's a do for now. I mean, saddle kill is nice, but... It will have the same effect, and all that does is... Uh, no, I prefer these ones. You got his weapons. Dried herbs. What's that five? Fanning minus one aim. That's better for fanning. Yeah, there we go. Right. Let's try this again, shall we? Here we go. When I woke up, the pain was blinding. And my hands. Yes, your hands were quite mangled in the fall, but in any case, your new one, your new ones are far superior. Superior? These are Fred Glass's hands, you bastard. Yeah, true, there was someone else's hands, but if you didn't have your own hands, then what are we gonna do about it? Right. Get in the cover here behind that. Go for that guy. Your armed goons will close it in, but I don't die easy. So we got a bit of cover. Dag, nab it. 
um, I looked into the DLC for this, this particular DLC. Apparently this is, has the hardest missions and combats in the entire game. The gunfire woke up by Neus, your other friend. Right. Go for him. Oh dear, that's bad. Let's try and ricochet. Gonna be a pain. Oh, dang, but he's gonna flank me. That's not good. Right, probably gonna mess with this shot. Yeah. Kill that one. Nah. I can't move to be honest. Try again. I notice someone up there. They missed with that shot. Yeah. Can't I rec I don't have enough lock left. Okay, they gotta start hitting me next turn. Right, fan him. really wish we could get that person, but it's not going to happen. Come on. So we can actually get around there, can we? There's a ladder around the back, okay. Let's get up here. Right, so she's got to reload. Missed. I'm going to reload. Try to get them. Uh, that's not great. Luckily, finding us had the key and let me out. We need to get away. No witnesses. We figured we could buy some time if we made a few false tracks. I was locked in, but no lock ever stopped me for long. So where do we have to go to get the...
Use D for use D for to heal your remaining self. That's on the ground floor. Yeah, it's on the ground floor. Right. Right, so see if you can get going. Okay, there's someone on the ground floor. Right, so we're going to put him down here. God, this game is dark at night. Get in here and use it. Whatever was in that tank, it kicked like a mule. Right. Reload. Get the drop on that person. Right. She's healed. Already at full health. Okay, so she can hit reload. Right now we need to leave. Right. He can follow up behind her. We need to get to there to get out. I don't know why my game is so... My my PC is so staggering today for some reason. I don't know why. Reload. Move up. Almost within range of the gate. Try to get to the gate. Oh! After that, I knew we wouldn't be followed. Great. There was someone there. Because the problem is now he's going to blast me in the back, and there's nothing I can do about that. Mangled foot, yeah, just because, you know. Uh, seriously. Why wasn't I more careful? Ah oh, well, I can always run back and ha get her healed up. She still has a mangled foot though. Couple of people coming down that way. Fan this guy. Hope is he can get and actually get healed in time. <sighs> Problem is he's got a mangled foot, which is a bad injury to have.
Dagon Emperor, there's still one left, so you can get inside and use the last of the, the healing juice. She's healed, but she's still got the mangled foot, which sucks. Uh, I didn't want that to happen at all. You saw how I handled myself in the quarry. What made you think you'd be able to kill me? If I were trying to kill you, why would I send Phineas to help you? He was your victim, same as me. Even without him talking none, we had an understanding. Right, so here we are back. So there we were in the middle of the night with a pile of dead bodies. Finnis didn't seem bored one bit. He piled the corpse up and collected the blood in buckets like he was turning to a guard and I didn't understand all that goo stuff back then. You know, the ether. But after that, every time we busted an enemy, we collected their blood to make ether with it. Phineas made it clear that we had some things in the lab he wanted to take. Alright. He searched the building methodically and picked up some trinkets as they're lying around. We lost a bit of time, but I figured that stuff might could come in handy later on. I asked whether he had any safe place we could go. He did. I've got 70. So what did we get? He's got a mangled foot. Right, what did we what do you pick up? Golem recipe. Liberty's eyes, redundant hand, bull's heart. Right. Got a couple of things we could sell. Medical bag, some Vital. Right. So first things first. Go to the store. I'm going to sell this and both of these and in exchange actually wait he hasn't got the cast for it is there anything he really want? rabbit's foot perhaps if that's the case we don't need Rabbit's foot and a bit of cash. Anything else? Not really. Right. So we've got ear necklace. There we go. And go to the morgue. I thought it was risky going there, going there with all of them, white folk around, but Finnis seemed confident. He wrote some stuff down and shoved it to the old man in charge. Then the man whispered in his ear and they shook hands. Finnis told me I was free to trade with him. We need something about the rotting flesh. We came back from some. We came back for some scar cleaning. The eye got really rotten. Okay. Don't think anyone's actually got. No, it's got decaying properties. You actually haven't got any of the bad stuff yet. Looked at his stock of body parts, ugly stuff. Yeah, well, it's ugly stuff, but you need it. So, Revenant. 
Gambler of the Hands of Fortune, Lucky Lung, Priest's Tongue. Bounty Hunter's Kidney. Hmm. So we've got Homo Superior. What do we need? Bull's Heart, Redundant Heart, Liberty's Eye, Mesmerizing Eye, and Lung of Fury. Let's grab the... that's the wrong one. We want the bull's heart. There we go. Right. Right, it has the vengeance ability passive. So I'm afraid to sort if it will kill you your... If if you kill your killer, you will make it, otherwise you'll die. Okay. Problem is... Yeah, it's a Zodiac one. I don't have any that fit that. He does, though. Um... Horse... Well, that's the Omega, and I can never remember the Roman characters. Right. Oh no, they're the Greek alphabet, aren't they? Right, go to finish the safe house. Phineas led me to a fine-looking but neglected ranch. I told him I didn't like the look of the place, but he assured me it would be okay. I had no idea who was who you were, and I suddenly didn't realise it was your family home. Instead of approaching from the front went to the kitchen. Despite his confidence, I decided to sneak up on the house from the hunting grounds. No, just instead of approaching from the front, we went from for the back entrance to the kitchen. Let's try that one. We walked up to the house. It was a big mistake. We barely got past the gate when a bunch of grey-clad folk came out from behind the corner. It was the home guard. They started shooting at us. He ran, but we still got us. That's when it finally dawned on me we had to steer clear of not just the law, but people in general. We weren't just runaways, we killed some white folk, plus we looked like a goddamn, look, goddamn revenant. When we lost in, we lost him in the tall grass, Phineas looked lost, but I knew what to do. I was furious. I swore I killed some bitch that did this to me. Didn't Phineas tell you about me? About my intentions? Oh, he wrote out a whole pretty story. Too bad I can't read. Yeah, well, this is going to be interesting. Um, alright, we need to stop our decay. Right. We've got mangled foot, which isn't great, but besides that, it's not a large issue. Right. Explore the nearby friends' location to learn more about your attackers. So, it's concentration, lonesome homestead, hideaway, outlaw den, mountain pass, buffalo cave. Let's try buffalo cave. We came across a swathe of ground covered by buffalo tracks. I couldn't believe it. Folks at the buffalo had been wiped out around here, so we followed them. The tracks led to a cave, large cave on the side of the mountain. Buffalo tracks going into a cave were strange enough, but that many? We headed in. Inside the cave we found a giant statue made of green stone but glowed in the dark. It had two gem eyes and we could hear a whistle. Or maybe it was the bat. We t I touched the statue. Images flashed before my eyes. I didn't know what where I was. I saw a giant herd of buffalo being hunted by a gaggle of white folk. But they didn't kill the animals. They catched them took them to, and then took them, them to them. Masked fellows who collected their blood. Just like Phileas did with that goo tool of his. When I saw something else, people gunning down the hunters and the doctors alike. Finally, the vision vanished. There we were, standing in front of a strange glowing figure. I 
I pried the gems from such as eyes, planning to fence them for food. For some reason I put what I put what I was wearing on my neck around the statue's neck. I can't say what I can't say why I did it, but when I came back to pick it up it was something completely different. It was time to leave. I got the K. Uh, what did she pick up? Blood talisman. Uh, we lost the luck thing, which was annoying because that was really potent luck token. You're gonna have to keep that decay at bay, unfortunately, it seems. We need to get hit decay treatment. Okay, we left the morgue. High item pass. We'll get onto that to the next episode. I think this is a good place to stop. I've been Cornish Knight. If you've liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Steam. You can leave a comment in the comment section. And I'll get back in contact with you. I've been Cornish Knight. And this has been Hard West Scars of Freedom DLC. Goodbye.